Domination on the North American market is inevitably associated with pickup trucks. The arrival of electric vehicles is not likely to change this decades-old formula, so car makers are making a strong push for the EV versions of these giants. This trend is further fueled by the recent commitment of the US government to support sustainable sources of energy and zero-emission transportation. To bring you up to speed with the latest news within this segment, in this episode we'll cover the freshly announced electric pickups and give you updates about the progress of the already known models. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and ring the bell if you want to stay informed about the world of transportation. Enjoy the ride! Ford F-150 Lightning The last time when the Lightning moniker was present in the Ford Staples, it belonged to the high-performance version of the F-150, produced by the Special Vehicle Team in the 1990s. This time, however, it returns for the appropriate naming of a gasoline-free truck built on a dedicated EV platform with two electric motors, standard four-wheel drive, and two battery options with 230 and 300 miles of range. Depending on the chosen pack, the system peaks at 426 or 563 horses and 775 pound-feet, which is the highest torque ever offered by the F-150. With these numbers, Ford targets 4.4 seconds 0 to 60, 2,000 pounds payloads, and 10,000 pounds towing capacity. We should also mention that the truck gets an independent rear suspension, can power your house for three days in case of an emergency, and features Ford's latest tech, such as hands-free Blue Cruise, 15.5-inch vertical touchscreen, and phone as a key. Alpha Wolf and Wolf Plus With their newly developed modular skateboard platform, the California startup Alpha rushes into the rising compact pickup segment. The Wolf will be offered in a single and extended cap versions. The former utilizes a front-wheel drive single or four-wheel drive dual-motor drivetrain with up to 275 miles of range. The Plus model adds 15 inches in length adds a rear row, accessible through suicide doors, which expands the seating capacity of the truck from two to four people, and switches the drivetrain layouts to rear or four-wheel drive. The Wolves will tow 3,000 and 6,724 pounds, and will have 34.5 to 40 cubic feet of storage. The trucks get a front trunk, retro-styled LED headlights, auxiliary light bar, and a minimalistic cabin with leather seats, digital dashboard, and a large vertical infotainment display. Rivian R1T The first member of the Rivian R1T truck family, labeled the launch edition, is arriving to the buyers in June 2021 as a 300-mile range EV with quad-motor all-wheel drive, a 135-kilowatt-hour battery pack, and a max output of 750 horses. This pickup gets exclusive interior and exterior styling, standard air suspension that can change ground clearance from 8 to 14 inches, and an off-road upgrade that adds underbody and bumper protection. It also has 11,000 pounds towing capacity and superior all-terrain skills with 3 feet water wading capability and rock crawling. In January 2022, the company plans to launch the regular Explore and Adventure package specifications, with the optional 180 kWh battery and up to 400 miles of driving. Finally, Rivian promises a humbler version of this pickup with 250 miles, 105 kWh pack, 400 horses, and more affordable price tag. But at this time, its release date remains classified. If you want to see electric pickups on the road, smash the like button and support the electric revolution. Let's keep going! GMC Hummer EV The recently repurposed Detroit Hamtrak plant will begin production of the new generation of GM vehicles by the end of 2021. Based on the proprietary flexible platform, the Edition 1 Hummer EV supertruck is rumored to weigh around 9,000 pounds. This astonishing figure is likely attributed to the 200 kWh LTM battery pack that stores 350 miles of range and supports 350 kW recharging. The Hammer's powertrain employs a three-motor all-wheel drive and yields 1,000 horsepower and 1,100 pound-feet of torque. 
Despite the race car grade 0 to 60 acceleration of 3 seconds, its true habitat is off the roads. It possesses an adaptive air ride suspension, 35 inch Goodyear Wrangler Territory tires, has four wheel steering with a revolutionary crab walk mode, and ultra vision with 18 camera views to safely traverse any obstacle. Finally, the CV will be the first one to adopt the high tech interior with optional lunar materials and huge screens. Lordstown Endurance this pickup emerged as the successor to the Workhorse W15 with an ambitious plan to set up a high-volume production at the 6.2 million square foot facility bought from General Motors. The Endurance claims to be using an in-house developed powertrain comprised of four and wheel hub motors that make 600 horsepower and provide true four-wheel drive. The 109 kilowatt hour battery covered by 8 years warranty would ensure 250 miles range. The top speed of the truck is limited to 80 miles per hour and it should be able to tow up to 7,500 pounds. These specs were recently tested at the San Felipe 250 Baja race, but the Lordstown Endurance had to abandon the competition after just 40 miles. Moreover, the company is currently fighting back against multiple lawsuits, alleging misrepresentations of the above mentioned specifications and inflated pre orders that led to investors losing over a billion dollars. Canoe Pickup Ready for any daily task that you can think of, the Canoe Pickup is built on the company's modular platform that allows for a variety of applications. As standard, its bed measures 6 feet in length, but it can be extended to 8 feet. Additionally, it features perimeter lighting and dividers that help you keep the transported items secure. The front of this canoe houses a large storage area with a work table and electrical outlets to power your tools and equipment, while the side gets an integrated step with more storage. Finally, this canoe can carry up to 1800 pounds of payloads and comes equipped with two flip-down side tables. According to the company, the truck will get rear and dual motor versions offering around 200 miles of range and it will be available with an optional easy-to-install camper shell for weekend trips. Tesla Cybertruck We're getting close to two years after the debut of Elon Musk's latest extreme automotive project, but it seems that it's not any closer to mass production. Nevertheless, if we were to trust the Dashcoin bull one less time, then his crazy Cybertruck is real and will be delivered to the market in the original futuristic form in 2022. This would entail a full-size platform with an ultra-hard 30x cold rolled stainless steel exoskeleton, armor glass, massive batteries with 250 through 500 miles range and 1 through 3 electric motors with rear or all-wheel drive. This rig will sit 6 people, tow up to 14,000 pounds and carry 3,500 more in the lockable exterior storage with 100 cubic feet volume. This truck drag races to 60 in 2.9 seconds, has adaptive air suspension, 16 inches of clearance, standard autopilot, and a new 17-inch touch control panel. Bollinger B2 In 2021, Bollinger continues the development of its proprietary platform that will underpin the company's upcoming B1 SUV, B2 truck, and the recently revealed Class 3 B2 chassis cab. Planned to start assembly by the end of this year, the models will rely on the dual-motor all-wheel drive system paired to the 120 kWh battery pack. In case of the B2, this is enough for 614 horsepower, 668 pound-feet of torque, 0 to 60 acceleration of 4.5 seconds, and 200 miles of riding. Additionally, the latest pre-production photos of the B2 revealed that the truck gets slightly redesigned for a sturdier stance, more utility, and easier repair. It boasts raised shoulder lines that allows to increase passenger headspace, smaller radiator with improved thermal management, and upgraded headlights. Unlike in the previous prototypes, the bed is now independent from the cab, and B pillars are moved forward to simplify entry for the rear seat passengers. Atlas XT 
Based in Mesa, Arizona, Atlas is yet another EV startup that focuses on developing of its own electric skateboard platform that should be able to accommodate different body styles. The company's first in-house vehicle to use this architecture is the XT pickup, originally revealed in 2019. The model is planned for production in 2021, and it is already available for pre-order in four versions. All of them rely on an all-wheel drive system with an independent electric motor per each wheel and a single-speed gearbox per axle. The entry-level model promises 300 miles of range and gets a 6.5 feet bat, while the flagship is offered with 500 miles and either a 6.5 or an 8 feet bat. The latter also gets single or dual rear wheels, can carry 5,000 pounds of payloads, and when equipped with a gooseneck trailer system, is able to tow 35,000 pounds. Electric pickups by Chevrolet, Ram and Toyota The arrival of the F-150 Lightning and Hammer EV sends a clear signal that legacy automakers are finally ready to take electrification seriously and will commit to the innovation trends. Among the other most anticipated models, we shall highlight the already confirmed 2023 Chevrolet Silverado Electric that will be built on the same platform as the Hummer and will possess 400 miles of range, benefiting from the Altium battery. The Ram 1500 is rumored to be scheduled for the 2024 model here, and it will likely share the electric technology with other Stellantis vehicles. Finally, Toyota has confirmed to be working on the electric versions of the Tacoma and Tundra pickups that will share the same modular platform. What is the most promising electric pickup of the upcoming decade? Will the F-150 Lightning manage to retain Ford's truck domination, or will the Tesla Cybertruck steal the leading position? Let's talk this over in the comment section. Smash the like button to support the electric revolution and watch more electrified content by following the links on the screen. May the torque be with you!